Where do our ancestors live? We are our ancestors. We are those before us. We are all that. We are that. And we have been upcycled and recycled and then we come up with whoever we are right now. Now, whoever we are right now is constantly subject to review. We can chop and change it. We don't have to be satisfied with who we are right now. Now, what happens when you're not satisfied? You want to change it and something keeps sabotaging it. And you've had a childhood that seems pretty normal on the face of it. You haven't had any major life events, yet you still can't shift things. If you go back into your timelines and you go back, 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 back into your ancestors, into those before you who seem so outside of us, yet where are they? Here in our skin, in our blood, in our DNA, in our cells. Our entire being is made up of our ancestors and that includes all the wisdom that they may have realized. That includes all their experience. Right? It is no coincidence if you find yourself talented in a particular way you find that wow you're a gifted cook or maybe you're a gifted artist or you might find that suddenly there are gifts inside of you and talents inside of you that you didn't even know that existed until you went through a spiritual awakening and you go through a spiritual awakening and you find that everything you're doing doesn't seem to be working and you don't think that inner child healing applies to you so you fill out a question and you just say not applicable this isn't something that i feel i need to work on and that friends is usually because of something about our lineage something going back into our ancestors we might be the ones carrying the button going to unfold something that someone might have started and they are prompting you that please go back to that because we want to know how this unfolds. Perhaps some of you, for example, if you're carrying a mother wound where your mother wasn't able to provide what you needed in terms of your emotional needs, maybe she wasn't able to connect with you because she wasn't connected with. Maybe she's somebody who falls sick a lot or she has also other coping mechanisms because she too wasn't loved and that is the case with her mother too and if you go a few lines back you will find that there is something that might have been missing something that our ancestors were themselves not even aware of so in a way you're holding the space for our ancestors to carry forward with something that they might have left undone. And these are, for example, again, going back to the mother wound. Now you may have felt the same, or maybe you didn't, but your mother had that. Your mother has carried that and that of others. And there'll be a pattern of the women in your family that are carrying this DNA inside of them, despite all things going pretty normally in their lives yet there'll be something now this is when you are the bridge and you are the one who is going to realize the essence of love that you already are so where our ancestors or those before us were only able to get to a certain point and that point is usually okay so now we're operating from the false persona now this is a coping mechanism my parents could never be wrong and you never 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 question not just the parenting or their intentions right and most of the time the intentions of the parent are you know are, are pretty humble are pretty on the right track because they want to love their children but they don't know how to and so many of us will right now who some of you who already have children 
you might find yourself asking you have the time to spend with them finally you get this time to spend with them but then you don't know how to spend time with them you don't know how to play with them you don't know how to let go and you might find yourself getting this ball of anxiety inside of yourself that just is there it's there and you don't know how to get rid of it a lot of these ancestral issues will pan out in our physical reality so our physical body itself will reflect what they might have themselves gone through and that also includes ailments that includes posture that includes so many other things so what do you do what do you do right what you do is what you're already doing what you do is already there it's there now and you've just got to walk through those doors and the key here is not to try to release your ancestors or try to say well i am not them i am the separate entity from them i'm not this person i'm not that person i'm not my lineage but instead is to heal the lineage without alienating the lineage and automatically it drops it drops in the sense that 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 attachment or that karmic attachment the karmic connection or that which was weighing us down which is what is work that hasn't been fully completed that right? that's which will keep calling us back and especially if you are the one that has been chosen 